It's awful conditions outside. It's been pouring most of the afternoon. It will impact upon the way the game is played. But because we can't go out, we're in the Waratahs dressing room. Two very special guests. Rod Kafer, of course, we all know. Don't know how he thought about the Saracens versus Leicester game, having played for both clubs. But first of all, we've also got Drew Mitchell. Drew, uh, how's that injury coming on? Yeah, it's coming along pretty well, actually. I, uh, I saw the surgeon through the week, and he was he was really pleased with uh, with the progress that's uh, that's happening so far. And he, he, uh, he said that I'm no longer needing to, to use the crutches to get around, so able to wait there, um, get the screw out in about four weeks, and and then ramp up the rehab after that. Drew, it's not really a night for wingers out there, is it? No, that's right. Um, you know, I mean, the guys are going to be doing it tough, and uh, anyone that can just sort of roll up the sleeves and get in and do do the tight stuff, um, you know be it a winger or a front row, it's going to be important tonight. But how important is the return of your captain, Phil War, and, and Wiki Palu as well, and a night when the Highlanders come with a very powerful breakdown themselves? I mean, it's, it's, it's extremely important, um, you know, with the return of Phil War, not only with what he brings to the game, especially in these types of conditions, but also his leadership. Um, you know, not too long, he'll fill his, his space right here in his dressing room and uh, in his spot right here, but, um, you know, he's going he's gonna to add a lot tonight. Thanks very much and good luck with the rehab, Drew. No worries, Rod, uh, joining us now, very quick quick word, Saracens versus Leicester. Where was your heart in that one? Well, it was a little bit conflicted, um, you know, having played uh, there with Leicester and, and won some stuff with Leicester, but just seeing Saracens get their opportunity in the sun to, to, win, a, to win a cup or win a, win a title after quite a long time. I know lots of people there are pretty happy, so uh, well done. Let's go back to this super game tonight. Real pressure, the Highlanders and the Waratahs, effectively, it's a knockout game. Now, there's been a, a lot of criticism in Sydney about the nature of the Waratahs game. Their defence has been good. Is it fair to say the attack has not really matched it? Well, they've had some moments. They've actually had some moments at the start of the year where they had a great structure to their game and they played well. And, and then they sort of got themselves into this little pickle and they, they, they used a kicking game and they really went to a kicking game. And it's a, it, it's, it's a team that can play with some real exciting attack. I mean, Drew, Drew was still, you know, he's been out for seven weeks and he's still, you know, in the top three attackers in the competition. Mm. That, that's how big an influence he had on the competition. Um, and when they lost him, they lost a lot of their go forward and a lot of their penetration out wide. And, you know, they moved to a kicking game and it hasn't really suited their style because they don't have, like you do in the, mm. the Northern Hemisphere, a mauling game to go with it. You start kicking a ball um, and, and you end up, uh, you know, in, in a backwards and forwards sort of a game. The Waratahs look good when they use the ball. Um, tonight they would have loved to have because they actually have played well when they've been away from home. The last two weeks in South Africa they played very well, wide open game, really um, suited their, the, the sort of mentality of the team. I'd love to see them do it tonight. It's not going to happen, but it'll be a bit of a grind. Very, very briefly, um, Rod, Waratahs were in South Africa, two bonus points, albeit they lost them both. The Highlanders, in comparison, they've lost to the force at home and the Lions at home. The script suggests that it should be the Waratahs. Can you see any other outcome tonight? No, I mean, the Waratahs will be too good defensively tonight, in the wet particularly, to, to, uh, for, for, for the Highlanders to really bother them. I think they'll shut them down, and I think the Waratahs can go to a kicking game, and they will use it. Luke Burgess will put it into the box a fair bit, um, and, and the wingers will, will try to get some, um, you know, some percentage out of chasing kicks and putting pressure. If the Waratahs can do that, you know, they'll, they'll sort of grind out a win here, I think. One thing we were talking about before we came on, it would have been a perfect night for Michael Liner and those grubbers into the corner. Back to you, gents.